The United States has warned Turkey against purchasing S-400 missile defense systems from Russia. The U.S. State Department urged Ankara not to retain the system and to refrain from buying any additional Russian military equipment. The department added that any significant new Russian arms purchases by Turkey would risk triggering new sanctions in addition to those imposed in December 2020. The reaction came after Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan announced Ankara intended to buy a second batch of S-400 missile defense systems from Moscow. The United States imposed sanctions on Turkey's Defense Industry Directorate, its chief, and three other employees following the country's acquisition of the first batch of S-400s. In order to discuss that story further, I'm now joined by Keaton Mansfield. He is an author and a political analyst for the Center for Political Innovation, joining us out of New York. Thank you for joining us. So do you think that the U.S. has the right to threaten Ankara with more sanctions? Of course not. I mean, what's the game here? When you look at uh, the economies, especially like in the U.S., in the 1930s, there were things called trusts and monopolies, and it seems that the U.S. is trying to do that on an international scale. How does the United States, or any country for that matter, be it Russia, France, Germany, Britain, how does any country have the right to dictate what other sovereign nations, what other sovereign governments are and are not allowed to spend money on? The United States, the U.S. government, is not the mother of the world. It's not, uh, it's not a parent who can say, yes, you can have candy, or no, you have to eat your dinner first. In fact, it's, it's impeding and it's treading on the sovereign rights and responsibilities of, of each nation, and it, it violates what the, the American Revolution of 1776 stood for, of independence and right to self-determination. And what message do you think this warning sent? Well, it, it strikes me as ironic, because during the Cold War and the Cuban Missile Crisis, it was the U.S. who put nuclear weapons in Turkey against Russia. And now the tables have turned, and so the U.S. is trying to send its message that anyone who isn't willing to play ball with the U.S. and isn't willing to, to side with NATO and to play the, the game of international politics the way NATO and the U.S. industrial complex wants is going to face repercussions, be it in the case of Cuba, which is being starved out by U.S. sanctions that have gone on for over 20 years, uh, be it China or Iran or Venezuela or all the countries that the U.S. empire has come down on to starve out, to, uh, to, to lay under siege, to use a, an older term. Uh, it's, it's the U.S. making clear that it is willing to fight another Cold War and it is ready to ramp up tensions despite the human cost, despite um, the death and the destruction and the hindering of development that these sanctions and that this aggression is going to bring on the people of, in this case, the people of Turkey. Keenan, thank you so much for joining us. I've been talking to Keenan Mansfield. He is an author and a political analyst for the Center for Political Innovation joining us out of New York.